Hello friends, good day. Welcome to our YouTube channel ZKR Soft. In this video, we are going to discuss about types of software components. In our previous video, we discussed about AutoSAR, AutoSAR layers. If you want to watch complete AutoSAR tutorial, you can follow my complete AutoSAR playlist. You all know that AutoSAR is basically a layered architecture. It has three layers. One is application layer, second one is AutoSAR runtime environment, third one is a basic software. Basic software can be further divided into three more layers. One is service layer, second one is issue abstraction layer, third one is microcontroller abstraction layer. In this video, we are going to discuss about types of software component and what is software component and how it will be visible in the AutoSAR ARXML file. That's what we are going to discuss in this video. What is software component? Software component is a piece of code which carries out an application. Basically, software component will be designed and it will carry some smaller application. You can consider it in a way you have to read the win number and you have to provide the win number to other modules. At the same time, you want to read the mileage and the mileage will be provided to the other modules. And if you want to read the system time, all these purposes, software component will be designed. And it's a modular building block that can be used to construct an AutoSAR software system. And the main purpose of the software components in AutoSAR is it make it reusability and to design a software module independent of embedded hardware. Meaning you can design the software component in the application layer and this is completely independent of the hardware. At the same time when we are designing a software component then we can make it to reusable and to design a software module independent of the hardware. Now we can discuss about what are the types of software component is available. One is application software component, service software component, sensor actuator software component, issue abstraction software component, complex device driver software component, service proxy software component, NV block software component, parameter software component, and composition software component. In this video, we can discuss about each software component with more deeper. First, we can start with application software component. It's basically called as a atomic software component and it's completely hardware independent because application software component will be designed in the application layer. It will be placed in the application layer and the application software component will communicate with other application software component via RTE. For that, it will be used the ports and interfaces. At the same time, application software component will communicate with the base software that's also via RTE. For designing an application software component, so we have to follow like application software component type, but generally we have a different tools to design it. Just I have keep a small snippet picture here to understand, to identify whether your software component is application or software component or any other software component. Basically, application software component has the word called application software component types. It has ports, internal behavior. In the upcoming video, we will discuss more deeper about what is ports, what are the properties of internal behavior, how we can design and all. So basically, then what is atomic software component? Atomic software component, it cannot be further decomposed and distributed across multiple ECUs. And it can be considered as a main building block of an AutoSAR application as well. And most of the software component are atomic software component. Service software component. It provides standardized interfaces for communicating directly with base software modules. For an example, if you are designing a software component here and if you want to discuss or uh, get the information from service layer, for an example, you are you have an uh, own software component here that is service software component and you want to get the information from a DCM uh, which will provide the diagnostic information. For that, we need to use in the client side is service stack is also true at the same time service server side is service also equal to true this is the way we can identify whether this is a service software component or not and service software component will communicate with dcm dem all these related informations will be collected by using the service software component and service software component shall have the service ports only and for designing and to identifying the service software component it always has the tag of service software component type and this also has ports it also has as internal behavior. Sensor actuator software component. Basically, the sensor actuator software component is responsible for managing the sensor and the actuator functions because it has the word itself like sensor and actuator. And this is also an atomic software component for handling the sensor and actuator functions. And it resembles the application software component except that it contains a reference to the act sensor and actuator hardware. This component can interact with the ECU abstraction layer. So ECU abstraction layer means you can see it here 
IO hardware relevant to read the signal interface all this information for this purpose the sensor actuator software component will be designed and at the same time this will be placed in the application layer and this is also uh, called as an atomic software component and it's as, I, as, as we discussed now it's located above the RT and provides the link between application software component and the ECU abstraction layer ECU abstraction software component. So the ECU abstraction software component, this is only the component that can interact with the I.O. input output. It provides the services through the provided port that can be used by the sensor actuator software component. And the ECU abstraction is a special atomic software component type that resides between a software component that wants to access ECU peripheral and hardware and the microcontroller abstraction. If you can see this picture here for identifying the ECU abstraction software component, we have a tag called ECU abstraction software component type. But this is a manual way. I just typed it and I am showing the picture. But basically you can use uh, based on your stack. If you have a vector, you will have a different tools and you can design the same thing in system desk or in isolar A. We have a many tools to design a software components. So based on the tools and you can identify whether uh, how you have to find out the ECU abstraction software components. You can search it by using this keyword ECU abstraction software component type. And this also has ports, internal behavior and all. Complex device driver software component. The complex device driver software component, it's a model, a function outside of the normal autos are basic software stack for complex or resource critical sensor evaluation or actuator control especially the hardware that is not directly supported by the autosar for an example we can see it here the cdd will be designed here so basically uh, complex device driver will be designed mainly the purpose of that meaning um, some for there are some complex application that cannot be implemented using the autosar base of our architecture there we can use the complex device driver component for an example then we will decide and this will mainly used for implement the non autosar application inside the autosar ecu so basically when you are going and joining company or some requirement comes to design a complex device driver then in that case you can consider in a way some of the functionality cannot be implemented using the autosar bsw architecture so in that case we will use the um, uh, complex device driver software component and you for again same you can by you, you can find it by using the tag complex device driver software component type and it has ports and it has internal behavior and all service proxy software component service proxy software component you can see it in the name called it's a proxy so it's used for distributing moves throughout the ecu service software component from the bsw layer may have to communicate with application software component of different ecu you can imagine the service proxy software component have to discuss to communicate with application software component of different ecu for this purpose service proxy software component is introduced service proxy software component resembles application software component except that is instantiated once per ECU. The service proxy software component can receive signals over the network but not send any signals over the network. The application software component you can consider in a way ECU1 has one application software component which is supposed to send which is supposed to send the signal to service software component which is residing in ECU2 should send the signal to service proxy software component of ECU2 and the service proxy software component communicate the same to the service software component of ECU2. So this is the purpose we have designed the service proxy software component and you can find it using the term called service proxy software component type and it has ports internal behavior and all. NV block software component. So the NV block software component basically designed it's also an atomic software component type and it can be used to access non-volatile memory. So while accessing non-volatile memory, you can read the block or you can write the block. You can come to know about the error status of the block, job finished or not. All this will be communicated via the NV block software component. And it can represent the NV manager from BSW layer. And if you will see here, you have to represent NV block software component type. You can have a ports, you can have a port groups, and you have a NV block descriptors, and it has the NV block needs. And we can discuss in a separate video more deeper about NV block software component. Basically, you can keep in your mind the NV block software component mainly used to access the non-volatile memory. 
parameter software component it's basically basically means it's in earlier it's called as a calibration software component as well so why it's a calibration software it's called as a calibration software component meaning it has to provide the calibrated information it's primarily used for accessing the calibration parameter from the ecu and providing calibration parameter to other software components and you can have a separate software component to create a multiple calibration parameter and it can provide the parameter values which can be fixed data constant or variable and it's contrast to atomic software component and it cannot have a software common internal behavior and one more thing you have to keep in your mind it does not support r ports meaning it has to only support the p ports um, if you will see this picture it has a tag called parameter software component type it has supports and it has support groups that's what the parameter software component composition software component so basically the composition software component uh, this is a non atomic software component it offers logical connection between the software components either atomic or composition so the software composition allows encapsulation of functionality by aggregating existing software component prototypes or other software composition they do not implement any functionality so it just aggregate the individual software components which are responsible for implementing the functionality and it has uh, connectors like assembly connector delegation connector that's also we can discuss in a separate video more deeper about the connectors in autosar thanks for watching this video if you like it please share it with your friends if you want to stay with us to have more technical content in autosar please subscribe our channel and you can watch my complete playlist for related with autosar from the beginning itself thank you so much have a nice day